Hello, hello again and welcome to another small tutorial and uh, this time I will try to fix my um, Nikon Coolpix 7 P7000 and uh, because the, the lens cover has a problem and you can see it's it's not really open uh, because uh, it has hit something so it will uh, and if I close it if I can so you can see there is a problem here but uh, how to fix it well need to to have the lens out uh, so we can work on it and then take out the battery and do so. <clears throat> now the, the lens is open at the moment so take care of uh, don't <clears throat> do any hard pressure on on the uh, tubes here. It's only the front cover itself here and of course the uh, the mechanical plastic uh, inside that open and close the uh, the blades here on the front. Now uh, I need to take off, off the uh, the lens cover itself so I can uh, I mean I have tried already. Uh, there's a small what do you say a pin or and there is a small notch here. So one could actually um, open it by pull in the uh, in the lens cover ring here, which is made of metal. But I would like to do my to use my dentist tool and go around the edge of the because it's stick with some double adhesive tape to uh, to actually stick the ring to the front uh, lens uh, blinds or whatever they call <clears throat> so one can actually just open it gently the plastic is actually not that bad as seen in other cameras but gently very gently the lens plastic mechanic stuff is actually a bit fragile so now it should be off and gently pull it out this is how it looks and the small notch here <coughs> has to sit in the bottom part of the which is down here as you probably can see there better with a tool show it right there so <clears throat> and there are some screws actually two to uh, hold the um, this lens mechanic blind stuff uh, in place oh I need a, a where did it go? I need a JIS screwdriver for unscrew the two screws in uh, on each side of the the lens front here. And then the blades should pull out. It's a, I use a JIS screwdriver because uh, it's a Japanese camera. So they use the JIS screw. So uh, if you use a Phillips screwdriver and the screws are too tight, <coughs> uh, you can probably damage the screw head. Not the screwdriver. The screwdriver here I use is a 
JIS uh, is modified by Vera. It's called 851-4J. And if you can see here, I know it's difficult, but it says pH 0. But it, it is uh, actually a uh, JIS screw bit. Now, then it should be possible to take off the cover here. And uh, if we look carefully here, there's a lot of, <clears throat> yeah, what do you say? It looks like maybe it's uh, some soda. <clears throat> that has uh, been splashed into the blades here I would guess so but um, I need to clean that so how to clean with oh what but uh, I will just I mean it's, it looks like it's all the same so there's a one here one there one there and one there so it be the the blades are exact the same so there shouldn't be any problem with that but the more <coughs> most of the sticky stuff is around here and over here not really it looks like it's not really on the blades here but maybe it's the um, on the edge of uh, the blades <coughs> Now, let's dig into it and uh, do some cleaning. Uh, just use a thin tweezer to take off the small, tiny spring. Then flip it up here. Oh, it pops out. <laughs> of course it, do, it does. <clears throat> it's not that hard to put them back again. And uh, now the the other side. Oh. So it will do. It's better to keep a finger here, and then unhook it. So it's more controlled in a way. And so it is. Now the next blade will come off doing so and uh, then we are into the the uh, the front plates here which if I turn it around there you can see there is a lot of dirt here of course it acts as glue so <laughs> uh, I need to clean that away Is it possible to see here this spring is going on this side of the of the blade okay I need to put it there well <clears throat> I will just do the, the cleaning and then uh, put the blades back on as you can see and the other side over here okay it's better just to move the blade a little now I'll lift it off so and here we are fully exploded to the uh, to the dirt <laughs> and um, if you by accident take off the springs here or they just pop off this is how it should look when you put them on not the opposite direction but so this is how it looks on each side there and there so it's not a big problem but uh, 
I think it will be easier to take off the springs and they will not find their way away from my desktop. So <clears throat> I will see if I can use some <clears throat> some Eclipse. I'll just try to see if it works. Just add a little on a cotton bud and it shouldn't do anything wrong to the plastic here. If I use acetone, don't do, uh, don't use, uh, don't even think about use acetone because it will melt the plastic. And that's serious. So this is actually very good. So we're um, just wipe away the rest over here. And uh, just do it another time. That was really a lot. So, uh, and so. Over here, and get all the, the dirt away. It's not really that much, but it was mostly on the plates itself. And uh, of course I will do it on the uh, sticky plates too. And you will see here, there's a lot of dirt here. So also away with that. And um, I think it will, it will do the job. So the camera can, can come back to, to work. It's actually a good camera. So, oh yeah, there's something there. Not really much. Just do it again with another. And then it's uh, so. And now they look like new. Not really a problem. So maybe there's something on here. <coughs> it could be, but it doesn't look like there isn't there isn't any on the uh, the smaller plates. Maybe on the back could be. And here. So there is no idea to send it to. A repair when you can do it yourself. <clears throat> and then the last plate. There's also some dirt here if you can see. There's something over here. And Especially on the edge, there could be something, but um, let's see how it will go. I think it will be pretty good. So now all the plates are actually okay, and their plastic inside here, the front of it is also okay. So the only thing I need to do is put things back in again. And uh, we'll do so here. This is put on here. And it looks like it's, it's running okay. And then the uh, spring. Need to come on here. So there, and <clears throat> I K 
can do it by moving the, the blades, the blade itself as much as I can. It will be easier to put the spring on here. And then flip it back to the correct position there. So you can see how it looks. And then the other side and there I think I will just oh <laughs> put the uh, oh come on between your mind stay there so there okay <clears throat> and I think I will just put this spring on directly it could be that it's a little easier and then the plate and then shoot oh okay I was not fully uh, correct with the cleaning there was something small spots there <coughs> Just need to wipe it away. Maybe one could use uh, isopropyl alcohol. I don't know, but uh, I would think the ethanol is not that uh, harmful to plastic. That. Um, the isopropyl alcohol 99% can be a little uh, sometimes on some types of plastic uh, that's what I just discovered some plastic quality not everything but there and this tiny spring mm -hmm. yeah huh. okay okay maybe it's just easier to do the the loose end first could be so like that and uh, hopefully if I move the blade a little it will come into place there now then I just need to put this on hmm so now it's fine And then the next two blades will uh, come on. So it is. And uh, one blade here. I go there and the next one <clears throat> on the other side. I can just put them on so they sit where they should there and this one sits there and this one should sit there now <clears throat> The uh, small spring is uh, coming on. I think we'll just zoom in a little. Oh, yeah. So, and
Oh, <laughs> sorry, it was the wrong place. The one end should go there, and I, I would guess it's uh, it's better to put it on the blades. Oh, oh frame. Um, it's better to put it on the blade first and maybe use a tool to press it down a little. It could be that it would be easier to put on. Hmm. Let's see here. Mm -hmm. There it is. There you go. Ah, not. It falls off the tweezer. Well, we just do it again. It has to come on. If I hold my camera back again. Yeah, there it is. And. there <clears throat> so and uh, let's see how it will go just need my spade here it's better to to use compared to the the other stunt so Mm -hmm. Do you mind? Stay there. Okay, this blade is not happy. So, wow, goes fine. And then the other side will hopefully be the same successfully. Just need to press it down a little. <laughs> Not easy. Well, I think it will be fine when it's done. <laughs> I mean, something should work there. And this blade has to come over here, there. And this blade has to come over there and yeah, everything looks fine. <clears throat> then I just missed the the last one. <laughs> it's not that easy, but uh, So, and there it is, back to, uh, well, almost, <laughs> uh -huh. the front blade need to come to correct place. Mm. Do you mind little blade? So, there, and there it is. So <clears throat> everything looks fine at the moment. I just need to to just take a look here. What's uh, well? It looks fine, and there's not really that much dirt and stuff. So 
there and it looks like it's it's okay in here the problem will be <coughs> that uh, <laughs> I need to put on the the cover which could be the next challenge so and uh, how should it actually face just zoom out a little so there are two screw holes so if i flip the camera over and try the two pins this pin and the other one it looks like they go in here and over here I would guess so I haven't found a repair manual for this camera so uh, but I think it will go see the screw holes there 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 and and hopefully it will work so if the blades are fully open like this mm -hmm. not really that fun Hopefully it will work there because the blades has to stay over there. Maybe the lens has to be closed uh, before putting on the the cover here and then open the lens. Uh, we'll just flip it over here. Not every time it will. One can be lucky, I think. <coughs> The lens has to be put on with the cover closed as I see it. So I'll just try that. There. Okay. <clears throat> just put in some battery and see uh, if the when the lens is closing no I will not change that so so now I will close the lens so and there it should be uh, I mean, it should be more easy to put the <clears throat> the blades in because there is some holes there and there, and the two screw holes, one there and there. So I would guess, without knowing it, I would guess it should just click on. Um, as I see it so maybe if I do something like that and flip the camera over just to catch the small holes and the should be there I know no one can see what's going on right now but it actually works so the blades or the the frame <coughs> here with the blades on uh, needs to be put back in with the lens closed so well how would I know that but uh, I 
think it sounds logic so I will just uh, oh just need a smaller screwdriver with some more handy So, and hopefully it it will work. So now the blades are clean, and this is tightened, not too much. It's the plastic is, is a bit fragile. So the battery goes in again and then <clears throat> things should work and the camera asks for change the okay <clears throat> not well let's see maybe it's only says click once and uh, hopefully it's possible Well, <clears throat> they are not really good, but uh, I think it's more than than that. Something is wrong. And the blades are put in together, correct? That's weird. Hmm. Okay, I need to close the camera again. It looks like something is out of place. <clears throat> and the things can only sit in one way, as I see it. Now, <clears throat> hopefully it's uh, possible to lift up the frame here on each side. Oh, where do I have a small screwdriver here? There and there. So a bit a little chaos here, but the the blades should sit, sit correct. So there, but the uh, they can only sit in one position. As I see it, so it goes under there, and this goes. Oh, sorry, out of frame. So in the frame again. <clears throat> there and there. <clears throat> Let's see how this will act when I open the lens. No. Okay, well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, go out. So how will the lens open and close? Something like that there and will it still be some bit sticky well not really but there could be some 
dirt on here which I think there are and more cleaning stuff here I think it will I think it will work better so it's not really much dirt so and then close the Okay, well, do you mind close saying to you? <clears throat> now put the put the blades on again, and uh, hopefully it will work. Where's the screw holes there? And the two pin in there mm -hmm. yeah so <clears throat> and hopefully it's better Not everything goes as it should when repairing those tiny stuff. But let's see. I think one should not uh, tighten the screws too much. So let's see if it will go. Not really. You see the the blades actually open as they should but it's just the uh, part of the plastic thing in there that is not uh, fully open see there's something broken inside somewhere here uh, with the um, with the blades mechanical stuff as I see it maybe I'm wrong but uh, this is just as I see it it cannot fully open and all the springs should sit <coughs> correct so uh, and the close well those uh, quite not really correct so there and so so if I zoom out will it help I'll zoom in and it close the blades actually close as they should and they act as they should correct but it will it affect the picture not really even if I zoom out there's not really anything wrong with the picture everything is in in the frame 
So uh, I would guess it, it, it will work no matter what. So <clears throat> I will simply just put the, the frame, I mean the cover, on again and uh, be happy with that. So, and uh, the little notch here goes on the pin here, so it's better to, to have the lens out for this little part here. So it will do so, there, and gently <coughs> press the, uh, okay. So, and I hope it will close as it should. Well, it doesn't affect the picture actually. Click something not correct. Maybe it's the uh, the tiny screws that is maybe. Uh, tighten a bit too much. It could be. So I'll just put the lens in again and uh, unscrew it a little so it's more loose. It could be Hmm. Well, as I see it, it doesn't affect the picture uh, frame, so uh, I would guess it, it will still work. Peep, peep, yeah, it has a short screen, to, I think. So just put this on and uh, it's a weird. But the frame is still good. It's just the the blades that are not fully open but it looks like something is maybe not uh, in good shape. So, <clears throat> but um, as I see it right now, the, the plates are not sticky anymore. So I'll just close it and that's it. So <clears throat> hope you can use the information about this uh, small tutorial. So see you next time. Bye bye.